Assalamu alaikum. Uh, again, uh, we will continue about uh, the book Sahih Bukhari Nihayat Ustura by Rashid Ilal, published by Dar al Watan, uh, Morocco. Uh, we gave a brief uh, explanation last week about what this book is all about. It is a very fascinating, interesting book. It's a result of years and years of research uh, by the author. And I thought it's a very valuable book for Muslims, uh, especially uh, like yourself who do not understand Arabic and doesn't have the mean to be able to read it. So I wanted to translate this book, not uh, word by word, but basically the meaning uh, and the valuable uh, subject that uh, he discusses. Uh, today, uh, in God's willing, we... Uh, uh, we, we will be discussing chapter one. Uh, uh, chapter one uh, deals with the saying of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, La taktubu anni shay'an suwa al-Qur'an. Do not write anything about me except the Qur'an. وَمَنْ كَتَبَ غَيْرَ الْقُرْآنِ فَلْيَمْحِهِ So anyone who has written anything besides the Qur'an uh, uh, to erase it. So, uh, this uh, this hadith in uh, in the opening of chapter one sets the tone for the rest of the uh, chapter. Basically, this chapter deals with the fact that the prophet told his companion is do not uh, write uh, about me anything uh, besides the Quran. So basically, the emphasis right here, the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gives it's. The emphasis should be about the Quran, not anything written about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And in uh, chapter one, um, stories about uh, companions of the Prophet Muhammad uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam trying to basically get permission uh, to be able to write, and uh, and 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 they struggled to have the permission of the Prophet Muhammad allowing them to write about the Prophet and the Prophet the same message that he did was not permitting his companion to write anything uh, about him uh, because of the emphasis that in Islam uh, there is only one uh, document that should be written <coughs> and, and, and followed uh, which is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Quran uh, Abu Bakr Siddiq, chapter one, uh, gives ma many examples and in, in stories. Uh, I will briefly mention something that Abu Bakr Siddiq also said. Innakum tuhadithuna ar Rasulillah. You are saying things about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa A hadith takhtalifuna fiya. Uh, uh, stories that you're, you're in dispute uh, about. Uh, and people people after you they will be ashad ikhtilafan they will be ashad ikhtilafan fala tuhaddithu an rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so it's very clear Abu Bakr al-Siddiq follows with the same message that he learned from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do not write down anything about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and even he is in the hadith given the example that you are the companion who are living now you're trying to uh, write a stories that you have uh, disputes among yourself about these stories so, so imagine generation that will come after you and the continuation of hadith uh, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq that goes فَمَنْ سَأَلَكُمْ and, uh, and they, they were their justification the companions is well what we're trying to do here is for people that would ask and wanted to know. And he said, and Abu Bakr Sadiq says, if if فمن سألكم فقولوا بيننا وبينكم القرآن. If they ask you, say between us and you, the Quran, the Book of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, is very simple. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wanted the Quran to be uh, the 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 supreme command, the only divine book to be revealed. Uh, to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the Prophet Muhammad understood the message; did not want any parallel documents that will challenge 
what's in the Quran, what challenge basically challenges the Quran. Uh, so also, the chapter one not only gives examples, uh, plenty of example, uh, strong examples that the Prophet وسلم, did not want hadith to be written. Abu Bakr Siddiq did not want hadith to be written. Umar ibn al-Khattab also mentioned uh, asking, he burned written documents that, uh, that were written uh, about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, of saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, uh, and Umar ibn al-Khattab also uh, was uh, quoted uh, to say, la kitab ma kitab Allah, there is no book should be associated with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they understood the danger of having a parallel document that can pa that will be parallel to the Quran. Uh, Uthman, the same thing, uh, forbade and he challenged and he said to people that uh, were trying to write the hadith, he prevented them uh, and he told them that if you yourself did not hear anything at the time of Abu Bakr or Umar and at the time of the Prophet, why are you then basically uh, narrating, writing something that you did not yourself hear? So it's very clear in chapter one that the author Rashid Ilal makes it very clear that there was plenty of evidence that the Prophet وسلم, set the tone and made it very clear for the companions not to write anything that maybe one day will be considered or challenge the divinity and the power and this and the center of this religion which is the quran so basically and this is the warning uh of at the time of the prophet has become a true right now the religion of islam has become the religion of the hadith books and and people that follow uh, Islam nowadays understand and know that many, many branches, many uh, <clears throat> uh, strong uh, followers of the Salafi and some other groups, they consider if the Hadith has proven to be authentic, then it overrules the Quran. <coughs> and that's why we have uh, people, if you leave Islam, and then you'll be killed. You'll be killed. That's according to Hadith. It's not according to the Quran. That if you leave Salah, if you don't pray Salah, you'll be killed. It's not according to the Quran. It's according to Hadith. Uh, the, 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 I mean, if you go by the Hadith, and it's it just crazy. Uh, the Islam becomes exactly what ISIS is what Al-Qaeda is, and even though there are a lot of people don't adhere to that uh, militant philosophy, but still follow the books of Hadith, and it it's, has caused a tremendous amount of pain for women, for men to, uh, for children, for, uh, uh, we need to uh, really examine uh, the central uh, role that the books of Hadith play in, in our lives. And this book by Rashid Ilal that I'm trying to bring to you uh, chapter by chapter, a uh, couple of pages at a time, by a couple of pages at a time, is trying to alert you to, uh, to something that you may not have been aware of. Uh, so that's the purpose. If you find this very interesting, please subscribe to the channel and follow so you can get all the comments uh, on a weekly basis. Happy Ramadan to all of you and take care and peace.